Hi guys, my name is Crystal. I'm a professional psychic medium. Don't mind the mask. I have dental issues. It's my journey from lupus and all of that and the journey is a long one. I'm a veteran and trying to get it fixed through the VA. It takes forever. <laughs> but anyway, <clears throat> I teach psychic and mediumship development. That is my passion. Yes, I do readings, but teaching others is my passion. So today I wanted to talk to you about mediumship. So if you're a new medium or you're wanting to step out into your mediumship abilities, here's a few tips for you. So right now I currently have six students that I'm teaching, all one-on-one. -on -one. And the common theme, I've taught hundreds at this point in my career, but the common theme for the current students that I have and past students and even myself with getting into this is holding spirit for a long time. So I want you to think about a, a baby, okay? Does a baby just decide one day to get up and run? No. They have to learn first how to turn over. Then they have to crawl. Then they have to like waddle and walk and then they run right so the same thing is learning your psychic abilities and your mediumship abilities okay so like a lot of my students say I can only hold spirit for like a couple of sentences or a couple of phrases or a couple of things I'll get and then it's like I lose the connection one it's your faith in the fact that you can connect it all right it's like oh my god I'm actually connecting so it could be like this weird feeling right it's like, um, think of your abilities like exercise and muscle mass, okay? You, when you exercise, you want to build muscle, right? You want to build strength. The same thing with your abilities. They're not just all coming in for you all strong like that. You have to build them. And how do you build your abilities? With practice and trust and... Um, confirmation of evidential information that you're giving to the client or the sitter, right? So my suggestion is think of giving a reading kind of like a letter and how you would write a letter to someone. You need the heading, okay, so the introduction. When I do a reading, I introduce myself. I ask if they've ever had a reading. Uh, I also do these things here, okay? Um, I kind of get a gauge for their energy while I talk to them in the beginning. Um, you know, I want to know if they've ever had a reading before. If they haven't, then I explain my process and how I do what I do because as mediums, we all do it a little bit different. Even if we have the same abilities, we may do it different. Our life experience, our personality, all play a role in how we read and how we connect. Okay, so you do that, and then what you want to do is think of the CERT method, okay? And I'll introduce, I'll put that here, what the CERT method is, what it stands for. So you want to be able to, you know, I, I do the introduction, and then I ask them what their goal is. Because why do I ask a client, and I don't call them sitters, sorry, I just say client because I have clients, and I just lump it all in one. Um... So I will tell the client, I will ask the client what their goal is because that's the part of the CERT method, the CERT formula, uh, the reason, the reason for the reading. Why are you here? Why are you getting a reading with me? And, you know, for example, I've had people say, well, my husband passed and I have no clue where the deed to the house is. I need help with that. Or did they like their funeral? Or I just need to hear. Sometimes they don't know what they want. Um, that's okay. That's okay. When I ask the goal of, you know, what do you want to get out of this reading? It helps me gauge their mental status. Uh, it helps me gauge where the reading's going to go and what they're needing of me to do. Remember, as a medium, you are just a phone, okay? You are a phone on speaker that they can communicate with their loved one through you, right? So you have to... So then I give them between 7 and 15 things that I have picked up of evidential information to prove that I'm speaking to their loved one or their loved ones, okay? And then after that, I say, is there any questions you would like to ask your loved one? No, I just kind of want to hear what they have to say. Um, then I will tune in 
and I will start whatever the, the loved one in spirit wants to start with. I like my funeral. Can you tell so-and-so this, you know, like whatever you're getting, um, then questions will probably come. Okay. So now after we've talked about that subject or that subject, do you have any questions? Because sometimes they don't know what they want to ask. They're so like overwhelmed with the entire process of what's happening. And you just told them things that no one would ever know with the evidence that you got, right? So they may be a little shook about that and trying to process that in their mind. Then I give the reading. I say whatever needs to be said. And <clears throat> You know, with the CERT formula, with the R, it's the reason. You want to honor why the, the client came for the reading, but also why is the loved one here? What message do they have for their loved one? Okay, um, so you have to remember that you're the good between and you want to try to satisfy both sides, both parties. Okay, then if you're only doing a reading for one person, if you want to make it last longer, you could open up when you're done with that. You could open up and see if there's anybody else that wants to come through. Again, you have to find your own style. Are you even willing to do that? Or is it just the people that they want to talk to and that's it? I don't limit. I want, like, I'll be real. I want to wow the people that come to me. Why? Because they'll come to me again. When you do this, you want to have longevity with your clients, okay? I have clients that have been with me from day one. I've been in this almost six years, five and a half years. So I have clients that have been with me five and a half years. Um, I have whole entire families that have been with me that long. And as a professional in this field, that's what you're wanting. You're wanting entire families to come to you. You're wanting that. So you always want to try to wow them and I'm not saying like it's a show. You wow them with the fact of you are your accuracy. Your accuracy wows them. And that's what you want when you give them the tingles and that, that ringing truth of, oh shit, they're really talking to my loved one. How else would they know that, right? <laughs> so, so after I do that, I let them speak to their loved one. Is there anything you would like to tell your loved one? And is there anything that your loved one would like to tell you? So it's like this whole back and forth and you have this full dialogue as if they, the loved one was there talking, but nobody could hear but you and you're the interpreter, right? Um, then at the point in the reading where just it kind of lulls and nobody's really saying anything, then you know it's time to end and T for tie it all up. So you want to tie up the reading. Okay, I'm not picking up anything else that needs to be said and you don't have any more questions. I think we're going to let your loved one go. And I always like any last parting quick message that the loved one wants to say, like, I really love you uh, or, you know, watch out like your kid, da, 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 or whatever little message. Sometimes they give warnings of saying you need to do this because you could be in trouble in this time frame, you know, because I'm a psychic, I can also tune in to that. Okay. Um, but yeah, I hope that this helps you understand that you're not going to get there all at once. Okay. The more that you practice, the more that it will happen. And let me put practicing in perspective for you. I did 150 plus readings before I ever went out and said, Hey, I'm a professional psychic medium. I got a lot of readings under my belt and you need to do the same thing. You need to do hundreds of readings before you call yourself a professional. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. No one's going to change my mind on this. You cannot do five readings and say, I'm a professional and you got to pay me good money to be a medium for you. No, because you don't have any experience. A hundred readings in, you're going to have to have dealt by that time with all walks of life, all types of how people have passed, everything. I mean, I've dealt with people. I've had readings from people in prison. I have had readings from, from, from doctors, from lawyers, from, from, um, artists. I mean, like the list goes on and on. You have to be able to know how to deal with everybody's energy and still connect. Do you think it didn't throw me when I called the guy for his reading and he answers in prison? 
<laughs> Do you think I was prepared for that? Yes, I was, because I had already done hundreds of readings prior. So nothing could surprise me and nothing could shake me. So, yeah, you'll get there. You'll get there. Practice, practice, practice. And I have my book behind me. My guides are like, show the book, show the book. All right, so if you're a new medium and you want to learn about mediumship with a really good book, I recommend this one to all of my students. In fact, they all buy it the minute I say, go get this book. <laughs> it's called So You Want to Be a Medium. It's by, it says a down-to-earth guide, and it's really, really good. And it's by Rose Vanden Enden. Rose Vanden Enden. Okay. Um, but I am here to teach people privately. So, if, And I'm not expensive. Like, for $80... For one month, you could be taught by me. I don't think that that's expensive compared to everything and all the knowledge that you get from me. But yeah, I have other other options too and more complex packages to do teaching with me. But if you want to learn mediumship, if you want to learn psychic, if you want to learn Reiki, uh, or you want a reading, or you want a healing, or yeah, I even do palm reports. I mean, listen, I do a lot. <laughs> I've been in this game a lot. So me going down the rabbit hole was a lot, but I hope that you got some knowledge today. Uh, I hope that even if you got the cert formula, that that helps you take care and many blessings.